Welcome to Mystic's Top 5 Good and Bad Things About My New Phone, Motorola. Number 1. It has a Gboard, which is a Google keyboard. Now, I could probably download a different one and use it, but... Nyeh. That's too much of a hassle. So the only bad thing about the Gboard... And I did put in the Play Store, so for the rest of you, please put in the Play Store as well for me, so maybe we can get them uh, to update it and fix it. It does not save hashtags, and y'all know when, you know, uploading YouTube videos, hashtags are the key to bringing people to watch your videos. Plus on Twitter, they're used a lot, and I do use them a lot, and they always show up as freaking... Uh, sp spelling error things, so I have to type them in manually all the time. Now, I'm pretty fast at typing anyway, even on the tiny little keyboard, but still, it would be nice if they saved hashtags like I know the Samsung keyboard does. Number two, the links don't work. When I save a link and try to post it somewhere, it does not work. It shows up, but you can't click on it. I don't know why. I don't know if there's something in the settings you can fix for that or what. I have no clue. But it's really annoying. So it's like I literally have to keep shit on my old phone and actually use my old phone when I'm here at home or under, you know, a Wi-Fi that it's connected to. Uh, so that's another thing the Gboard needs to fix. You would think that would be an automatic requirement. Unless, like I said, there's something in the settings where it's turned off and I didn't know it. Number three. Usernames don't show up as colors on Twitch or in Discord. It's like kind of a different... It's like a highlighted font style. It's like an outlined font style. To distinguish them from other ones. Like some are that way and some are just normal. So I don't. In a way it's annoying. So it's kind of one of those 50-50 things. Like in a way it's annoying. And then in a way it's just like meh. Whatever. Kind of get used to not seeing the colors. Although I like seeing the colors. I'm a very color oriented person. I love seeing colors and things. But Twitch Mobile I don't really care. Because the Twitch Mobile Username colors have been broken for ever, it feels like, and I feel like they're never going to fix it. So, that was the 50-50. Number four, the good thing. Space to make longer videos. Like the ones I've been doing lately. Number five, video quality is infinitely better it also has a slow motion setting in the camera, and it has night vision built in the normal camera. Which makes for taking shots like I did of the moon that one morning. Oh, and a bonus. Number six. One of the biggest joys of this phone Compared to the stinking Samsungs, there's no Bixby button that I have to accidentally fucking push and it pops up and annoys the hell out of me. Also, it does not have the stupid side menu thing, which, yeah, you can turn off, but what the frick's the point of that? Seriously. Why even have that? Why is that even a thing I'll never understand, but it's annoying as hell. And I didn't even know you could turn it off until, like, practically right before I got this phone. Because it was annoying me when I was playing Pokemon Go and trying to, you know, swipe for the attacks, battling grunts. But yeah, thank God for no Bixby button. I don't need a stupid voice-activated shit. If I want to do that, I'll just use the Google Assistant, because all phones have that anyway. You don't need two different things. Yes, I know Bixby is Samsung's version of Siri, but still. It's annoying as hell, and there's no point to it. I still accidentally hit the damn thing on my work phone, and I'm like, ugh. 
It drives me freaking nuts. So anyway, for all of you, those of you who have ever switched a Motorola from Samsung, let me know if you agree with these. And what you think about this top five, well, more like the top six list. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Yes, some of these will be longer. I do have some that are. But enjoy.